our discussion of model-driven engineering will break things down into three distinct steps. The first step is the reverse engineering step. That's where we take the legacy code, we examine it, we understand it, and we determine the hierarchy that all the modules use. The second step is where we develop a high-level model based on our observations of the legacy code. The high-level model should be a clear indicator of what the legacy code does. Third is the forward engineering part of it. That is where we take and understand the high-level model we've developed and then develop the code that reflects it. Now the reverse engineering step is not the same thing as the reverse engineering that hackers do. They typically will take an existing EXC or DLL or something and break it down and try to understand what it's doing without source code. Um, this reverse engineering actually requires us to have the legacy source code. The modules are then summarized in order to understand their function and their hierarchy. For our discussion, I'm going to use an example from my previous coding life. At one time, I wrote a plugin for a proxy server. This plugin looked for images of people. As the images came in, it would examine them and decide if they were images of people. And as with many developers' code from years past, it's something I'm not exactly today proud of. I wish I had another whack at it. In fact, maybe I do. We can use model-driven engineering to create a much better model and then forward engineer that. So let's take a look at the code. Here you can see, for starters, I have a, a function that converts the data, which is RGB data, to HSV and gray. Okay, HSV just gives us a much better way to analyze a lot of image data than RGB. But as you can see, already I've violated an object-oriented principle here of decoupling. And so this is one opportunity we can, we can have to, to create a better model where our processes are decoupled. Now let me scroll on down. Here's another function called filter basic FT. That stands for filter basic flesh tones. Obviously, when you're looking for pictures of people, you're looking for flesh tones. So anyway, this source code has a lot of methods that do the image processing. If I scroll down here, 